So excited, dude. Season 6 got to get all tidied up. You didn't get a haircut, did you? I didn't have time to get one. I've been a little busy. I told you to get it. Did you at least make a new intro? Did you make it? Which, what intro? When would I have had time to make that intro? You're just gonna use the same old crappy intro. I'm gonna make it. The NHL's finally back and you're screwing it up, Steve. You wanna do this? We can do this. No, no, uh, uh, no. I am helmet guy now. You can't scare me with that thing. You are locked out of my head. Ah, and then, yes, please. Dude, what a great soul. Dude, crazy throwing waffles. Woo. Who are you? Optimus Prime. Did you guys see that whole argument? Oh, that's really embarrassing. After months of a long, drawn out, boring, senseless lockout, finally, the hat has come back to YouTube. I wouldn't have put it quite like that, but yeah, the Leafs are back and everyone else. This is the beginning of the sixth season of LFR. Playoff video this year, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Many of the newcomers have asked and LFR stands for Leafs Fan Reaction because I'm just uh, so creative. And I always start the video by telling you the score and who won and Leafs win! The season opener 2-1 over the Montreal Canadiens. And the Leafs goaltending controversy fires up before the game even starts. Ben Scrivens getting the opening night start. As I mentioned, this is my sixth season doing Leaf videos. So the first season I started was 2007-2008. So this is the sixth season opener I've done a video for. And in the last six season openers, the Leafs have had five different goalies. Raycroft, Toskala, Toskala, Jaguar, Reimer, and now Scrivens. Right off the bat, I know hindsight's 2020. The Leafs won, he played pretty well. But if you were coach Randy Carlisle, would you have started Scrivens in the season opener? It's logical, I think. He had a little NHL action last year. Performed pretty decently. Made it all the way to the Calder Cup Finals with the Marlies. He's been playing this season. Optimus Rhyme! Getting his screws tightened and his oil chains a little bit, recovering from injury, and might be a little rusty. I mean, during the Leafs' inter-squad games during training camp, Reimer helped Kadri get a spot on the team. Kadri lit him up for a hat-trick. Which is a nice transition for Nazem Kadri makes it 1-0 with the Leafs' first goal of the game. Of the season! First thing I want to point out, and you're going to roll your eyes because I'm talking about a KHL guy, but Leo Komarov in front of the net. Komarov is an Estonian-born Finn who played in Russia and knows Swedish. If you can say that ten times fast, I will give you a nothing. You'll just look weird sitting in your room. But Komarov, wearing number 47, just like Daryl Boyce did. You know I love my Daryl Boyce. Boyce wasn't the flashiest, greatest offensive player, but he did something that I loved him for because... Not many people on this team have done it over the last few years, is he goes to the frickin' net! Komarov was loathed in the KHL on teams that he wasn't on. <laughs> a huge pester, as they say in Russian, Pesty McPesterson. I saw this when he was playing on a line with Nicholas Backstrom and Alex Ovechkin in the KHL. He just skates right in, parks himself in the crease, and says, See this ass? Get to know it! Anyone else notice that Kadri left Kessel hanging? Kessel does a good job of playing it off, though, like, uh, yeah! Oh, Phil, you're so awkward and adorable. And on that goal, Mike Koska dishes to Phil Kessel, Kessel to Kadri, Komarov with the screen in front, Leafs get their first goal. Team effort, and I don't know if you've looked at the Leafs on paper, but that's probably what they're going to need to succeed this year. By the way, Mike Koska, first career NHL game, plays 23 minutes on a pairing with Dion Phaneuf, Cody Franzen, 12 and a half, Thomas Herrick, 16 and a half. Keep in mind, Jake Gardner's out of the lineup with an injury, and the Leafs' defense situation gets a lot more interesting. Because if Koska plays 23 minutes, okay, he played 22-59. In his first career NHL game, gets an assist, he's with Phaneuf. That's not a guy you plan on sending back down. If he keeps this up and they do, I'll be shocked. What's not shocking, though, is Koska's success in his first game. I haven't seen a whole lot of him with the Marlies, but people that cover the Marlies regularly seem to think the sun shines out of his butt. And he's from Ajax, Ontario. Good old Canadian, but Ontario. You said it, Don. And to get back to Komarov for a second, sorry, I'm going to be all over the place. This is my first one I'm out of practice. Give me a break. Komarov would have had his first career NHL goal had he not been robbed by Carey Price in the second. This guy, I'm liking him. Pesty McPest. Now, the goal that put the Leafs up 2-0 on the power play, using a very simple set play that I've seen before called GET IN YOU STUPID PUCK! Dion Smash shot block, Phil Kessel shot block, Bozak, yeah! Persistence! Which, by the way, is how the Habs got their first goal to make it 2-1. Diaz puts it on, Gionta bangs it in through all the chaos in front. That's how you score. And to the credit of both Carey Price and Ben Scrivens, 
they looked good and the only way they got scored on is when you really got in their face. And even more to their credit, neither the Leafs or Habs scored an even strength goal. The Leafs had two power play goals and the Habs had a power play goal. Had to earn it. Similarly to how we earn through wading through all this crap to finally be able to sit here again. Because I missed you guys, I love you. I just, I can't even with the Leafs and my feels and I'm, excuse me. NHL is back! Now if you'll excuse me, I gotta get some house cleaning out of the way. I hope you are watching this video right now on theleafsnation.com because that is where you're gonna find all my LFR videos first. Theleafsnation.com, there's your little link. SteveDangle.com also very much exists. I gave away a bunch of uh, premium hockey cards on theleafsnation.com during the lockout but I had so little time that I haven't actually sent them off. If you're one of the people who won one of these awesome cards, Jake Gardner rookie card, for example, these cards are yours. They're getting sent as soon as I can. I'm gonna put them on a table so they're in my face all the time and I send them to you. And part of the reason I was so busy during the lockout and thank goodness as a guy who works in hockey, I was busy during the lockout, was I was doing highlights for the KHL official YouTube channel. I know a lot of you are like, ah, oh, whatever, who cares, the NHL's back, whatever. I'm still doing highlights for them for the remainder of the season. More hockey. And if it tickles your fancy, you can find those highlights on youtube.com slash KHL. And now that the NHL is back, I'm also back at CBC doing some highlights for them too, which I will post in the underbar and you can check out. And my main job right now is writing and narrating these packs that are, you know, the little mini condensed packs. We got the Ottawa Winnipeg game, Leafs Habs game obviously, and the Ducks Vancouver game. But I'm gonna post something also in the underbar that I, it, you might not know about, but it's pretty amazing. CBC posts the entire game. The entire game's online. Did you miss it? You can watch it again. If you didn't know that, now you know you're welcome. And as this video is getting way, 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 way too long, if you've stuck it out this long, and because you had to stick it out through the lockout, here is what I'm gonna do for you. Go to theleafsnation.com, watch this video. In that video, there's gonna be a comment box. If you're a registered user for the site, you can leave a comment. And if you leave a comment, you will be randomly entered to win one of these. An autographed Ben Scrivens rookie card. An autographed Joffrey Lupul card. And Habs fans, I know a lot of you watch and I know a lot of you want this guy back. A PK Subban rookie card. So once again, register, leave a comment on this video on theleafsnation.com and you will be randomly entered to win one of these. Please, in the comment, specify which one you want. I wouldn't want to send a Leafs fan a PK card, for example. I will make it my priority to get you these cards. Leave a comment on what you thought of the Leafs-Habs game, maybe what you thought from the other games. Oh my god, Corey Schneider, Roberto Luongo, what's going on there? Vladimir Tarasenko, two goals in his first NHL game. Yager's the timeless wonder, Solani's the timeless wonder. You tell me whatever you want, because LFRs are back.